时候。Today is my first day of school, so I'm going to wear this. Cool, right? You wish you could be like me. It's very cool. That's the deal. That's the perfect reaction. I've been thinking about it. I ranked second to the last in our class, so before my classmates think of bullying me this year, I've decided. Take the offensive. Leave a strong first impression. This girl is off limits. It's upside down. Is it? Uh huh. <laughs> doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, Lee Jen Jen. I promise. If anyone would dare to bully you, just run to me. I'll take care of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That Lee said, "Don't get Jen Jen in trouble, didn't you hear?" <clears throat> Just to eat. <coughs> Jen Jen, where'd you get that shirt? I bought it. Hmm. With my summer savings. Are you going to a gang war, or are you going to school? Change. Wear your uniform right now. What a pain. It's a great day to. Hey, Jen Jen! Grandma, Grandma Chen! Chen! Hi! <laughs> Are you going to school? Uh huh. Oh, study hard, okay? Have your brother Ling Xiao teach you. Get good grades. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> Which one is Su Chu? Uh, I am. What's your name, Granny? Oh, this is Zhu Peng's aunt's mother. She's here for the baby. You can call her Granny Zhen. Hi, Hi Granny, Granny Chung. Chung! Hi, Granny. <laughs> oh, nice. So then, do you miss your moms a lot? Did I say something wrong?
Come inside. You. Hey, hi, Chow. Are you busy? Hey, look at you. Why didn't you tell me that you were coming over? I came down for some ducklings and to give you some mountain produce. Every time you visit, you waste your money <laughs> on me. Your brother? He's buying ducklings. He's not coming. Oh. Mm. Come in, come in. Thanks. Have you eaten? Want noodles? I have, I have. Don't bother. I won't be staying for long. Hey, do you know how that woman's related to Hai Chao? Zichou's aunt. She visits often. Doesn't she know where to find Zichou's mother? All this time? Not even a message? After the death of Zichou's grandma and grandpa, his mom was never seen again. To think she owes Hai Chao's money. Here's your water. Uh, you don't have to serve me. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> so, uh, how's it you and Chen Chen? Are they home? Think I can visit them? It's the first day of school. They're in school right now. It's... What's the matter with me? All classes start today. Oh, didn't Lu Bao go to school today? He's not a good student. Um, he did finish junior high, then he quit. He's with his uncle. He's working in Guangzhou. Oh. <laughs> Isn't he too young to work? Of course not. He's already 17. Kids from the countryside, we have a different fate. Most are from poor families. They have to move away. Let's say that Zucho grew up in our family. Then he wouldn't be able to go to college. He won't have a choice but to go to work. <sighs> hey, I mean, we're not exactly that well off. The small noodle shop just keeps them from starving. <laughs> They're far from starvation. This noodle shop provides for all of their needs. <laughs> you know, every time they talk to me about this place, oh, I can't help but be proud. <sighs> Our ancestors must have done something good to give us this good luck. We're lucky to have met such a good person like you. <laughs> My gosh, enough about that. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you're back. Yeah. Is that the fish you're cooking? Yeah. It smells wonderful. I could smell it from below. <laughs> oh, gosh. I just fried some peppers, and now the whole house smells. I did tell you about the exhaust pipe. Oh, yes, I'm on it. The next door neighbor is renovating. Hey, do you need help with that? No, 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 no. I'm making soup. I got oh. it. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, it's hot. Uh huh. Okay. Mind you. There. Here. Um, the monthly budget. Huh? Oh, okay. You won't count it? What if I'm stiffing you? Keep it all if you want. You'll eat cabbage for a month. <laughs> okay, just kidding, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Dad, Hello. We're home. Dad. Our senior Hi. high students. Welcome back, huh? Come in, go wash your hands. <laughs> That's a lot of side dishes. Good, because I'm starving. Uh. Oh, wait a second. I have some big news for you. Oh, really? Let's eat. Come on. Not big news. Tell huh? us over dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Zucho, I have some news. Yeah. Here. Your auntie was here earlier. She brought you a ton of wild duck eggs. She went home. She didn't know that you were in school. Good thing I didn't see her. What would I tell her? This kid. She's worried about you. He lands a good person. But talks too much. Keeps telling kids to do one thing, not the other. Hey, Shisho, you must be obedient. Shisho, you shouldn't be fighting with Jian Jian. Shisho, be a good son to your father. She goes on and on. It's crazy. <laughs> Why were you in Jian Jian's room? It's nothing. Jian Jian, come on out. We're waiting for you. Put it here. Coming! Whoa, whoa, someone's happy today. <laughs> What's so funny? We made you friends, is that why you're so happy? <laughs> Hi, Chow. Look, we've come so far. This is nice, right? <laughs> way back then, when your dad and I, right, decided uh, that the two of us will raise the three of you. I mean, the neighbors raise their eyebrows. How can these two men raise children? There has to be a maternal figure. But look, look at you now. You're all grown up. It works. I don't have to worry about Ling Xiao. Even when I'm at work, I don't have to worry about him. <laughs> all thanks to Hai Chao. It's okay. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Mrs. Chan keeps introducing random women to me. Uh, I don't want a girlfriend, huh? I'm done with all the fighting. Huh. 
But you do need a wife to keep you in line. <laughs> <coughs> I have an announcement. Oh, mm. okay, okay. I, Li Jian Jian, just mm -hmm. got my first period! <laughs> What's the matter with you guys? Congratulate me! Uh, 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 congrats! Congrats, Jen Jen! You're getting older! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Uh, eat some fish. Oh, yes, I just let's made eat. it today. Come on. It's good. Mm. Yeah. In junior high, my classmates started getting their periods, but I didn't. And I got so worried because I thought I was sick. My mom is gone. I didn't know if she had anything hereditary. Would I get her pulmonary hypertension? You won't. It's not hereditary, okay? Uh, about this thing, you can, you can always, you can ask us. Yes, you can. But you're all boys. You don't have periods. What would you know? <clears throat> By the way, their stomachs hurt when they get their periods. Do you guys know why? <clears throat> hey, Ling Xiao. Uh, what did you put in Jan Jan's room? I saw you earlier. It looked like a gift. A gift? Tell me, no, tell it's nothing. me. Let's just eat. Hey, go take a look. Take a look. What are these two boys up to? I better get changed. Uh, go, go, go. Go ahead. I need to be. Oh, hey, you still have my ball. Let me get it. I'll get changed too. Go on. No, 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 no. Come here. Come here. What's the matter with you? Jen, Jen, this thing. This is not something that you talk about in public. We're not in public, Dad. We're at home. Come on. I meant. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, how nice. Thank you. Hi, Chow. Tell me what you want. Ah, I have something I want to consult with you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't beat around the bush now. Just tell me about it. Go on. Uh, it's, uh... uh... <laughs> Look at Here. you. All have right, I will later. What are you so shy about? Is this about a woman? Need an introduction? No, it's not that. Uh... It's about Jen Jen. What about her? Uh, it's just, uh, well, I've always seen Jen Jen as, as a child, but uh -huh. she's already turned 16. She's a teenager and she just said she got <clears throat> her first period. Oh no, she just got it? That's a little bit late. Oh, yes, she, she did ask me about that. She asked me about inheriting an illness from her mom, and if that illness could somehow affect her period. Do you think that's a case with her? The timing has nothing to do with having a hereditary disease. Oh. It comes when it comes. What's important is it does. Oh. I've always said you men are going to be helpless. You have to be more careful. I told you, raising a daughter is completely different from raising a son. Huh. Daughters require a lot more work. You should have listened to me before and got a new girlfriend. Then you wouldn't be in this position you're in now. Enough about that. Uh, 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 what about this? Uh, do you think that maybe Fan Fang can go shopping? She can take Jen Jen and buy her some women's the thing that... The, 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 you mean the... a bra? Oh, yes. Oh, Hai Chao, are you kidding me? Your Jen Jen is 16 years old now. You haven't brought her undergarments? Uh, really? What kind of parent are you? No, uh, no, Hai Chao. Well, well, I didn't, oh. I didn't notice. Daughters that grow up without a mother really have a hard time. Look at the way you brought up Chan Chan. She acts no different from a boy. She spends the whole day roughhousing with her two brothers, like a feral creature. Give that girl a stick, and she would terrorize the whole neighborhood. Oh. <sighs> Me. Are you lost, broadcast?
this room is off limits. Sorry, but I need help. Attention students, attention students. Class 1, Senior 3, Li Ling Xiao. Class 1, Senior 3, Li Ling Xiao. Your sister's behind the school building preventing a crime. Your sister's behind the school building preventing a crime. Be there as soon as possible. Be there as soon as possible. Li Ling Xiao? Call for backup. Or you can call your principal. You knocked this off my hands. Pay for it. You kids are wasting our time. This is imported medicine. It's hard to find. She's explained it to you a hundred times. You're the one who bumped into her. She didn't run into you, you understand? Huh. Uncle, I don't have a lot of money. Shut up. Look at this. This is the receipt from the pharmacy where we bought the imported medicine. A thousand yuan. You can read it. It has the name of the medicine. I didn't ask to see the receipt. First, we don't know if that receipt is real. Second, even if that's a real receipt, we don't know the medicine is real. You won't pay for this, you punk! Hey, 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 hey. I told you my sister's gone to the office for help. If you want, wait for her. As soon as she's back, we can fix this. Calm down. They're just students, and that girl didn't mean it. It was an accident. It was just bad luck. No way! We used our hard-earned money to buy that. Listen, we've been waiting here for half an hour. Hey, miss, you said you didn't mean it. Fine. You two, help each other. Just give us all the money you have. We've had a bad day. Are you kidding me? Fine, I'll give you my money. Stop that. Are you stupid? These guys are scamming you. Why give them money? Hey, you're not a part of this. You get out hey, of here. hands off her. You're a little pig. You don't want trouble. Hey, uh, stop it, stop it. Move. I'll pay. Will you stop jumping? I said call a teacher. Why did you call Ling Xiao over? But there was no one at the office! <laughs> you only get to do that when you're my husband! You think I'm an idiot? Preventing crime, what if they had a weapon? What if they had a weapon? What if they got... Did you call the police? No, I didn't have time. I had to run. How annoying! They got away! <laughs> It's fine. It already happened. Next time, call the police. Li Zhen Zhen, let's go. Let's go. Walk. Uh. Although you were very brave and you want to help, what if those guys had a knife with them? What then? Three students against two grown men? But no one was at the office. You hijacked the PA system to call your brother, right? Why didn't you ask a teacher for help? It was for a good cause. You had good intentions, but you executed it in the wrong manner. Wait for your head teacher here. He'll take you back. Think about what you did. <sighs> Ow! Why did you call the guards? Don't give her a hard time. She thought of the PA system. That's a big progress. Um, hey there. Thank you for helping me. It's all my fault. I got you involved in my problem. I'm in the same class as Lee Jun Jun. I'm Chi Ming Yua. Your classmates? I don't know her. Huh? I'm the class monitor. Oh, 
I don't really know. So sorry. If you didn't know me, why did you help me? For, for justice. justice. For justice. Jen Jen! Ah, oh, finally. Hey, you got any plans today? Do you want to eat? Let's hang out. Oh, I gotta get go. home. I'm sorry. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Lee Jen Jen. I'll wait for you. Oh, monitor. <laughs> no problem. I want to treat you to dinner because you helped me out. Hey, hurry up. Sure, I want ice Come cream. On, guys. Okay. I heard there's a new Hagen dust near the school. Just say when. Are you free after school? Wanna do it in our place? Don't mind my brothers. Uh I don't mind. It's embarrassing. All three of you helped me that day. I really should have invited your brothers. Oh, it's fine. Let me introduce them. My brother Ling Xiao, my other brother He Ji Cho, Mi Chi Ming Yue, our class monitor. You've met her. The three of your cousins, right? We're not. We're something like a blended family. Oh. Same dad or mom? We each have our own. But that means none of you are related. How can you say that? These two are my brothers. Uh, uh, let's look at the menu. What do you chips. want? Don't worry, we'll pay. Oh no, please don't. I said it's my treat. Wow, that's so nice of you. I can order anything? Sure. You sure you have enough money? I have 500. Go ahead. Well, all right, if you say so. <laughs> Waiter, order! Hello. I want this. This and mm, this. Okay. What about you? Uh... Which one do you recommend? Vanilla is always a crowd favorite. Uh, I'll have that one, please. Mm, okay. So good! I like mixing flavors. Is that enough? Oh, of course, of course! Try this one, it's matcha. It tastes really good. Wow, vanilla's good too. Really? Let me try it. Mmm, mm, try it or it will melt. Right? Mm. She could have been better than so many students. I think there must be something going on. Oh, she has always been a model student. Yes. This is no parent meeting. I think this is to shame bad students. Of course, out of 30 students, there's always going to be kids with poor grades. It's only natural. Your older brother's doing well. The other one's doing okay, too. You sure your dad's not worried about you? Dad has very low expectations. He just wants me to behave. <laughs> your dad seems nice. My mom has very high expectations. If my grades are not in the top five in class, she will kill me. Does she beat you up? No, it's something worse. Is your mom around? She's there. Okay, but which one? She's the one in a dress. Wow, your mom looks like the British Queen. <laughs> That's my dad. Dad! 
Meet my friend, Chi Ming Hi, Mr. Li. So you're Ming Ye. She talks about you all the time. Look at your friend. She takes care of her grades and her looks. <laughs> yeah, just like me. Thank you, Uncle. <laughs> Ming Ye. Hello. Oh. Nice to meet you, and oh, you are? Uh, I'm Li Zhen Zhen's father. Ah, <laughs> oh, Li Zhen Zhen's father. Uh, hello, I'm Li Zhen Zhen. Ah. Ming Ye. Let's meet the other parents. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, Chi. Oh, oh hello. hello. Long time no see. Uh, sit, huh? sit Is down, this Dad. your mother? Sit down. Yes. Oh, well, hello. Uh, hello. Gosh, you're so pretty. Oh, thank you, thank you. Your daughter's just wonderful. First in class again. Hey. Thank you. She does. What's her, her secret? Who's I bet she studies there? overnight. The top student. She does, in her but class. we tell her to her balance her studies with other activities. You should join Yeti in her hard. extracurricular her activities. Let's arrange it, Mrs. Wang. Well, if both we of them want to, why Your not? Your daughter is amazing. What a gem! But You're very her mom lucky. doesn't wear glasses. Well, maybe her dad wears one. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it down. <laughs> Hello to our dear parents. Good morning. I'll introduce myself. I'm Mr. Wang, head teacher of grade one, class six. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Today is our very first parent meeting after the placement test. So first, let's get to know each other. Um, Wang Yaji's parents, are they here? Wang Yaji did excellent in the placement test. She aced it. Uh, Mrs. Wang, do you have anything you want to share about teaching children? Oh, nothing much, really. My daughter loves to study, and she has good teachers. <laughs> That's very nice of you. Take a seat. Now, let's see. The effect of a teacher on a student's grades is a very small part of the equation. A big part is what the student does outside of the school and classrooms. Shi Ming Ye's parents, are you here? Good morning. I am Chi Mingyue's mom and my name is Jin Yushan. Our family highly values the education of children. And today I would like to share with you what we have learned so far. For starters, you must provide all of their needs, but don't spoil them lest they refuse to study. Children rarely study on their own accord. Therefore, we must not let our guard down. Our role as parents is to supervise our children's growth and development. At an early age, we must inculcate good values and morals, as well as a very clear and specific future that they have to strive hard for. That's what us parents have to do. Look for at Chi Ming Ye's mom. She's dressed aspects. like her daughter's just been if admitted to Peking University. Us, it's only because we did not <laughs> If not, then we She's are a to very good speaker. As parents, we need to have you know what I noticed? There's really not a lot of difference between my teachers now and my teachers in the past. So in case you get tortured by Mr. Wang later, just nod your head. I'll wash your feet at home. Forget about my feet. And be content with you washing your own dirty socks. Don't make such a wash them. I don't make him. He said he wanted to. You just let him do what he wants. Yeah. All right. That's all I can share. Also, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to their head teacher, Mr. Huang, and to the rest of the faculty for their devotion to the education of all our children. I appreciate it. Hmm. <laughs> Your socks, Your socks smell like a sewer rat. Hey, Lee Jen Jan, care to share what's so funny? And, uh, is the one next to you your dad? Ah, uh, Mr. Huang. Uh, hello to everyone. I am Jen Jen's father. My daughter, she's naughty. Thanks for caring for her. Wait a minute. Jen Jen attends an art class every weekend, am I right? Yes, she does. Art class. Are you doing this to help her get into an art school in the future? Oh, I didn't really think that far. She's been drawing since she was young, so I thought, let her do what she wants. Time is of the essence. She has to prepare. If your daughter is thinking of pursuing a course in fine arts in college, we can arrange for special classes in grade two. Well, you see. <laughs> My mistake. I'm so sorry. Fang Lulu's parents, where are you? 
my mistake, my mistake. <laughs> Let's just move on. Are Feng Lala's parents here? Are Feng Lala's parents here? <laughs> Is that bad? <laughs> if you were a teacher, would you choose an obedient student or students who break rules and also have terrible grades? Yeah, I get it. My mistake, my mistake. Homework, <laughs> homework time. Hey, what did you tell dad? Oh, I don't know. He called the parents of the top five to brag about their kids and then he kicked the rest of the students out. <laughs> I found a love letter. Hey, why did you destroy it? Who gave you that? Don't know. <laughs> Perfect choice. You have to focus on your studies. Don't let these kinds of things affect you. You know how he is. He's not interested. When a girl talking to him gets excited, he walks out. <laughs> Unlike you, you have your own cheering squad. That's not true at all. Who wants people screaming at them? Brother, huh? I know you like quiet girls, but please don't forget that you belong to a loud family. So please, control yourself. Hey, you and Ling Xiao got married. Get off my back. You got married? Yeah. <laughs> His father was officially going to be my godfather. All of a sudden, Ling Xiao was kneeling in front of me. We've kind of been engaged ever since. <laughs> Do your homework. Oh. <laughs> Wait, that's mine. Hmm? You're drinking my coffee. I'm sorry. I'll buy you another. Don't do that. But she took my drink. There will be good students, and there will be bad. Hmm? It's not the worst thing, but being smug about it is what makes the situation horrible. Hey, all I want from you is to work hard, okay? That's all that we can do right now. <laughs> I'm so lucky my dad is a reasonable man. I really am. I'm the luckiest person. Hey, come on, here's a toast. Uh, no, no. Promise me when you grow up to be a beggar, don't tell them you're my daughter. <laughs> and don't come to me. God, don't change. <laughs> I can't believe you're so heartless. Don't worry, Jan Jan. Feed my place. I've got leftovers. <laughs> all right, all right, that's enough. Just eat. What, do you have a toothache? All right, open wide. Not the tooth. My gum is hurting. Mm. All right, dentist this weekend. No way! You refused to go last year. Do you remember how much pain you had to endure? Don't wanna! We're going. Don't wanna! Stop that! Hey, 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 hey. We are having dinner. Don't argue over dinner. When did this become a habit? Jan Jan. Hmm? If your gums hurt, you should not be eating too much meat. Here, eat more vegetables. This will make it better, okay? Here, eat your veggies. There, there. Eat it up. Mm hmm? Thank you so much. Sure. Who's calling at this hour? Yeah, let me guess. It's your boss. It's Ling Xiao's grandma. Hey! <laughs> Hi, grandma. Please, you don't have to say that. I'd be happy to help out. Yeah? Uh-huh. Oh, that sounds good. Uh-huh. Mm. Mm. Some shrimp? Um, hey, Dad. I'm full now. I'm going up. Huh? But you haven't eaten anything yet. Eat some more. Typical. He always loses his appetite every time his mom's family members make contact. His mom just wouldn't let up. She ran off to Singapore, she doesn't visit, she's such a pain. Mm. She's married to some rich dude, she wants to feel important. All right, enough, enough. No more of that. Don't talk like that in front of your brother. Watch what you say to him, you understand? I'll make him some noodles. 
Bring it to him, Jen Jen. <sighs> All right, but it's not like he's an old man. Just do it for him, okay? When he's older, he won't need you. Aww. Right, okay then. Leash House here. Ah, <laughs> I saw a grandma, uh, Li Xiao. He had to go out to buy something, I'm sorry. Ah, it's all right. I'll make him call back. Sure. Yes. Yes, okay. All right, bye then. Mm. You've spoiled him rotten. Before, he wouldn't call his grandma. That's fine, but now what? He wouldn't take her call. Did I just hear you say that, huh? When Ling Xiao heard it was his grandma, he lost all his appetite, and you know why? It's because you and Chen Ting always fought in front of that boy. You gave the boy childhood trauma, do you understand? Kids these days are just so sensitive. Don't compare Ling Xiao to yourself. You're a thick-skinned, ruthless, bitter old man. Well, at least I'm a man. Either you're wimping in a corner, or you're taking everyone's head all day long, all day long, all day long. Oh, oh yeah, gosh. I keep talking, sure, I keep nagging. Uh, hey, why are you eating? Don't I eat. Don't I cooked that, I made that. Stop don't it. eat the food I made. Stop it! Stop that. Stop we eating that. Lin Huppin, shut up! Don't be mean to each other. Eat your food. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, let's eat. <laughs> His grandma. What does she want now? Um, nothing. It's been a long time since she spoke to Ling Xiao. She just wanted to talk. Yeah, whatever. Enough. No more for Why you. Why are you being so stingy, huh? Well, that's what I am. Okay, then. Let's have some beer. Oh, such a pain. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want some water? <laughs> well, my tooth hurts. You think I'll drive you mad one day? Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm done washing the dishes. Oh, hey, does your shoulder bother you? Hmm. Let me help you. I'm all right. Talk to me. Is something wrong with Ling Xiao's grandma? <sighs> she only calls when she needs something. She said that Cheng Ting's husband is working here for six months. So Cheng Ting is coming with her daughter. They want my help to find their daughter a school. Hmm. That old woman's too much. Why can't her daughter Chen Ting ask you herself? You and Ling Xiao have nothing to do with her now, but she's still asking favors. <laughs> huh. What do you expect me to tell her? After all, she's his grandmother, right? She's his family. Can't divorce them. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Have you told Ling Xiao about this? If Chen Ting and I have nothing to say to each other, then the boy has nothing to say to her. It's fine. He doesn't have to know. Hmm. <laughs> Just put him back. I'm okay. You have to eat. My dad made you two poached eggs. I've brushed my teeth. I'm good. Hey, so your mother... Hmm? Oh, so on Chen Ting. Ouch, what am I supposed to say? His mom left her after the divorce, but my mom, she dumped me here. It's not that we can't talk about it, but I just don't see the point. I don't know her. That's true. No, that's not true. Listen to me. She might ask you to return her flesh and blood. She can have five pounds off me. <laughs> so, you were born five pounds? <laughs> Ow! What's wrong? Hey, Jen Jen. Uh, Let me see. Uh, uh, uh. No, say ah. Uh. There's nothing rotten. It's a wisdom tooth. How can you say that for sure? Quack, doctor, let me see. Um. <laughs> you should read more, you idiot. Ask Dad Lee for painkillers and brush your teeth. Can you go now? I'm sleepy. Sure. No! You have to eat the eggs before we go. Li Zhen Zhen, go to your room. No way! Here, boss. Eat up. Whoa! Your blanket smells like you. It's nice. <laughs> hey, hey! Whoa! Hey! 
I told you. You can't sleep in Miner Sucho's bed. Why? What's the big deal? I'll punch you next time. Okay, fine, I won't. You're acting like your bed's made of gold. Weirdo. <sighs> She's just a kid. Why'd you do that? She's 16. All right. We're going to start locking our doors. Good night. Thank you. 